Halloween is here again, which means it's time for ghouls, ghosts, and good fun. But Hollow's Eve isn't all about the costumes and candy. There is also some science to the scare. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call this morning with more on why some sights and sounds get your hearts racing. Good morning. So good, morning. good to see you. So wait a second. Are you saying that getting a good scare may be a good thing? Okay, well, fear designed for entertainment, like a scary movie, Haunted House, can actually be quite healthy. The key is you really? need to know that you are safe. Now, fear is energizing. You release adrenaline, dopamine, and you get pumped up. And then you release those endorphins, which are an incredible stress relief. So, so it's the perfect sort of neural chemical cocktail for stress release. Um, fear allows us to be in the present moment, a little vacation from our everyday lives. And then finally, fear is an incredible bonding tool. You know, when humans are scared, their survival instinct kicks in. They tend to pair up with other humans they release oxytocin. So imagine two people watching a scary movie. They're six feet apart on the sofa. By the end of the movie, they're glued together. So great <laughs> way to bond with somebody. Yeah, I need all the help I can get to get yeah. through it. Oh, we want to play a clip of you and Simo oh, no. Meyer <laughs> at a Haunting in Hollis where it seemed like you got plenty of uh, good health got a good dose benefits. Of yeah. <laughs> spooky phenomenon. Uh, please tell us more about this and, and you didn't make it out of there. Well, my, uh, clearly my science was escaping me at that moment. <laughs> I mean, I was really scared. So um, science can explain a lot of it. So first are sounds. You know, sounds can be really scary to people, but there's actually something called the fear frequency. Humans can hear sounds up to about 20 hertz, but there's infrasounds that exist below that, 19 hertz and below. And while we can't hear them, we can feel them, we can sense them. They make us feel anxious and edgy. Mm. And in the right setting, your imagination just runs wild. Okay, so let's talk about where you were and uh, that haunting in yeah. Hollis, because it was all about ghosts that some people swear they've seen. Well, you think about when do people see ghosts? People often s report seeing ghosts at night close to bedtime. Now, one of the biggest explanations for this is what we call sleep paralysis. When we go into REM sleep, our body becomes naturally paralyzed, but sometimes the wires can get crossed and you can have a few seconds to minutes of that paralysis before sleep. And it's common that people will have auditory or visual hallucinations. How about that? Yeah. Why is it always the old houses and not the new ones that seem to be haunted though? Two things you find in old houses, faulty wiring, which can cause electromagnetic frequencies and toxins like a faulty furnace that emits low levels of carbon monoxide, mold. These, all of these things can cause hallucinations. Um, additionally, those electromagnetic frequencies, they can interact with just regular appliances and um, they can cause changes in light they can cause uh, changes in temperature. They can even um, make your appliances go a little haywire. Mm, there's some explanations. They can cause those paranormal All experiences. Right, there we go. Okay, scary movies. Do you go to see them or no? Never. Me neither. <laughs> yeah. I'm more of a romantic comedy type of girl. If I could choose, for sure. <laughs> Dr. Nidhi Kumar, good to see you. Thanks so good much for joining us. We appreciate it. And